Welcome back to my channel and to another tutorial on embroidery on vintage old machines. <laughs> you know, if the machine is older than 20 years old, it's basically vintage, you know, I'm telling you. Anyway, this is going to help so many of you right now who purchase those older brother machines that do not have a USB connection, but they do have the card on the side that you use but you have to use the ped basic transfer box to be able to transfer the design to the embroidery machine to sew it out now here is I'm going to go through a scenario that many of you are going through right now okay we're going to go through a little scenario you did your design in your editing program and you go to set it up for a five by seven hoop as you can see this is okay we put it for five by seven hoop okay now we save the design then we're going to go to our ped basic and bring the ped basic up okay now you got your ped basic software up and you need to transfer your design to the card and then take the card and plug it into the machine so you can embroider it out right okay so you go right here to the little file icon you click that on you get to your hard drive find the design click the design on it pops up up here find the file click the file bring it up here and there's that design in that file all right then you highlight the design and in the middle you take the little blue arrow and you transfer it over and then you write it to the card, which is the little red arrow down here at the bottom right. Click that. It says all original card data will be deleted. Okay, so we do that. Okay. Wait for it to write. And then we take the card out of the ped basic box. We plug it into our embroidery machine. And... We go to touch the embroidery machine, and this is what happens. We get this. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? And now you're pulling your hair out thinking, what did I do? Did I set the correct hoop in my editing software? Is it too big? What's going on? Some people, you write on the groups, and people are saying, oh, reduce the size of, the hoop, of your design in the hoop, you know, this and that. And you're like, what, what, what? And it's like... Oh my God, and everything's going wrong. You're getting all this advice from all these people and everything's coming out and you're just more confused and you're going crazy. You say, what did I do? I wasted my money buying this old machine and what the heck? Oh my God, and my, your heart is sunk because you really want to do the embroidery and you can't. And you're just so, you're ready to give up. Well, along comes me. I'm reading the selling groups and I'm like, hmm... So I said, well, I just bought this uh, older 8500D uh, brother and sewing machine. I've got my pet basic. I'm going to be testing it out later and doing a video. So um, before I do the whole video on the whole thing, on the whole machine to give people a breakdown and introduce them to the machine, I want to do this separate video to show you guys what the problem is and why you cannot write, why the card is not being read to the machine. So let's go back to Ped Basic. All right, here's the problem. Your embroidery machine has a maximum hoop size, okay? Like my PC8500D by Brother, maximum hoop size is a five by seven, okay? Now, we're not gonna talk about the repositionable hoop because that's a whole different ball game. But the machine is set up to only read up to a 5x7 hoop. But you didn't realize what you've been doing all this time. Look up here in the left-hand corner. You've had this set at 6 and a quarter. Was that 6 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter or 10 and a half? 10 and a quarter. My eyes are getting bad. All right. That's 10, 10 and a quarter. Let me move my microphone so I can get closer. All right. 6 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter. That's what you've had it set at, right? And when you went to transfer to the card and put the card in the machine, it would not read it. Here's the problem. You need to set this to the maximum 
embro embroidery size your machine can read, and that's a 5 by 7 So I click that. This message comes up. Okay, hoop size was changed. All right. Now, because this is already edited as a 5 by 7 it's going to be transferred to the card, and the card's going to be set up as a 5 by 7 for the machine to read. Now I'm going to hit that blue button again, and it's to over here. Now I want to write that to the card. So I come down here and click on the red arrow, and now it's going to write that to the card, and it's going to tell the card this is a 5 by 7 format for the whole card. Okay? There you go. Now when we bring up Instead of getting this, we're going to get that. Whoa! Yes! Yes! There's the design. You see that? There's the design. Okay. So now we take our stylus pen. Never use your fingers on these screens, people. Don't use your fingernails. Don't use your fingers. Use a stylus, okay? And I, if you see in a lot of my videos, I got a stylus with a little Velcro attached to it. And I got a little Velcro tab on the side of my sh machine so I never lose my stylus. So get in the habit of using your stylus. All right, now I'm going to click that design with my stylus. And what's going to happen? There it is. <gasps> there it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now you can jump up and down and say, oh, my God, this $300 used machine I just bought is going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. I did not make a mistake. I did not make a mistake. This 24-year-old sewing machine is still good. Yes, yes, yes. The technology still works. How about that? Are you happy now? Do you feel good? I know. I know you did. And you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. You are welcome. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, girl. Mm-hmm. All right. Now you can go back to your embroidery machine and you can sew it out and you can feel so relieved and so wonderful and enjoy the rest of your evening and your weekend or your weeknight, whatever, and not have to say, I made a mistake buying this old machine that doesn't work because it does work. And what was the problem? You didn't know. And when you don't know, and you don't know how to fix or you don't know how to operate something, it's called operator error. This was not intentional, okay? Because there was no instruction manual. It really came with a machine, you know, with a box. But now you know. And you are welcome, girl. Now get out there and have some fun. Go, go embroider those beautiful designs. And make sure you sign up and subscribe. Like and subscribe on my YouTube channel because I got more videos coming out that will help you. See, I'm, I'm helping you. Okay, y'all are having watching other videos of people doing construction methods, and that's great. Okay, I'm the guy in the background that's playing with the technology and the setup and helping you have setup so you can have success. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I want to grow this channel so I can do more for you all. All right, love you guys. You take care and um, happy sewing and embroidery. Bye.